we're also 10 days, I think, away from the uh, opening. Well, nine, I guess nine days now uh, away from the opening of Star Wars, The Force Awakens. And already fans are lining up outside certain theaters like the Chinese Theater and uh, in Los Angeles and Hollywood. Uh, and I don't, I don't know why you would do that in this day and age necessarily. <laughs> aren't, aren't most theaters, I mean, a lot of theaters anyway, are reserve seating. Um, you could buy the tickets in advance. You don't have to show up to buy them there, but I guess they're upholding tradition is part well, of the deal. And also how else are you going to camp out next to someone dressed as a Wookiee? That's a really good point. It's, it's not really the type of thing that uh, happens really outside point. of that line. So I actually have been watching, I've decided to watch all six of them in order before the, um, okay. Starting with episode one, episode one, the Phantom, Phantom Menace, Menace and going yeah. all the way through. Yeah. yeah just yeah. kind of slowly, maybe a little background watching. We've been doing that too. Okay. Cause I, I, it, the first one is, is not good. It's, it's not a good movie. I don't know. Episode if one. Notice that. Oh, it's terrible. It's really <laughs> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I watched it. it. It's just like, f first of all, not a lot happens in the movie. There's yeah. not a lot of events that occur that are just like you would typically want to see in a movie. There's like a race. Mm -hmm. And yes. one good lightsaber battle. Outside That's about it. of that, there's a lot of there's Jar Jar Binks is a, what there is. A lot of discussion about tr trade unions. Uh huh. Um, it's really not good. And and the act the actor. I mean, this is you know beat to death, obviously at this point. But the actor that portrays the kid, who uh, oh, I guess geez. now is a, <laughs> it's basically ruined his life. <laughs> poor guy. Uh, but he, he's so bad, and it, it's so sloppy. Like there's one scene where um. Uh, the the kid comes up to uh, you know uh, I guess Obi Wan or whatever, and uh, and says um, wants to ask the question. I've heard you talk about midichlorians. What are they? That's that's the question he wants to ask. Mm -hmm. The way he delivers it is, um, I've heard you talk about midichlorians. I have a question. What are midichlorians? <laughs> How did that stay in the movie? Were you guys like know, pressed man. for time in I the 16 years in between films? Brilliant cut print. So I don't know. Bad. I don't know. I don't know. I George mean, Lucas lost his mind somewhere along the way. Yeah. He had to. Thank God he's not involved in this new set. I was reading an article. Somebody was doing an interview with him a couple of weeks ago, and he admitted they really don't want him they didn't want him involved in this <laughs> which i think is a really good idea it's like jj abrams had very little interest in getting input mm. even advice from lucas on this movie so he wasn't an advisor he wasn't hanging around the set he wasn't sending them notes he he didn't have any part in it so i have high hopes for it i do too by the way i, I got it to uh, episode two as well um attack of the clones yeah the first half hour of Attack of the Clones is one of the best half hours in all the movies. It's so I'm trying good. Trying to think how it starts. You've got this. You've got an assassination uh, attempt, then followed oh, by right, that. Right. The, the, they've got um, uh, another. There's another assassination attempt on uh, this Queen Amidala, Senator right. Amidala. Yeah. Then they go. They have that chase scene through the it, city, yes. which is awesome. Which is cool because it's yeah. it's a mid air thing. Yeah, it's a really they, good. They scene. They do have flying cars. Yeah, unlike us. <laughs> yeah, unlike us. Even it was a long time ago. <laughs> right. Uh, which is weird. We just we must have missed that piece of innovation. Oh, we did. Uh, but that's a great. And then it goes into like a, the worst half hour in the entire series, where like the most exciting thing is when they have the tall, skinny people who are cloning. Um, and the, and then <laughs> there's like 900 minutes of 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 Anakin Skywalker trying to make out with the senator and her saying no. And them rolling around in grass and mm -hmm. then having dinner. It's like, what? Who? I don't understand it. You have the formula. The first half hour is the formula, guys. Not the second half hour. Delete the second half hour. I got to believe J.J. Abrams is going first half hour with this one. I'm thinking so. Yeah. I. I nobody knows what this is even about. Uh, <laughs> no. they, they, they were saying how this was, uh, there was an article this week that this is one of the best kept plot line secrets in movie history. It's true. I mean, you think you watch the trailers for it, and I know we'll get into the news. I know we're not like every other yeah. news show right now, leading with Donald Trump and his stupid proposals. So I apologize for that. But the the uh, you look at like the trailers. What's the what's the knocking on the trailers now? They give away the entire movie. You get nothing from the trailers of this movie. You have no. The only thing you see are the people that are in it, and not even all the people that are in it. Right. They won't even show Luke Skywalker. Right. It's just like a few characters saying. Uh, we need to go. Hey, yeah, come no over idea. here. 
No idea what's going you have on. No idea what's going on. Yeah. It's kind of amazing. Uh, you he, you see Harrison Ford say, it's all true. Yeah, right. Uh, you don't that's know what it, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know he's in it, and that's enough. And that's enough. That's enough. 888 727 back 888 727 